Why, why don't you feel 100% about the personal statement? I don't know. I don't know if it's conveying everything I wanted to convey. And I'm having trouble knowing what to take out and what to put in. I want to I wanna include, well, I wanted your opinion. If I should include that I'm the first in my family to ever even try to go to law school. That's not in there. And I realized after I wrote it that maybe I should. And I don't know if I'm going... I read an article online that says sometimes if you're just kind of itemizing your resume, they don't like that. And I don't know if I was doing that. So that's why I don't think I'm 100% okay with it. Sure. Well, those are great issues and questions. I'm glad you brought them up. First off, it is worth noting if you're the first in the family to pursue law school. Okay. It's worth noting if you're the first in your family to go to college. They like to see that. They like to get that background on you. Secondly, you, it's correct that you don't want to itemize your resume. And so the way to tell if you're doing that or not is how many different experiences are listed there that are not directly related to each other. So in yours, you have the business law class, you have the business you worked for, you also have things involving the judge, right? So there's a variety of different experiences there within totally different contexts. And they're all great. I mean, I wish that you could include all of them. I wish you could have five statements covering each one in depth. But the problem is that the more things you cover, the less deep you can go on each one. So it's a quality versus quantity thing. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.